big news today in an interview with NBC Sports that I will link in the description of this video so you can read the entire thing. Michael Norman revealed that he is switching from the 400 down to the 100, saying, We've always had this idea that once I develop and accomplish the goals that I want to do in the 400, that the goal will be to drop down to the 100. I can comfortably say that I've achieved what I wanted to achieve in the 400, and I can start challenging myself and trying something new and attempting to medal and break records in the 100. This is extremely exciting. In an event which already had an outrageous amount of depth, in the American men's side now adds Michael Norman and Noah Lyles who said just a few weeks ago that he's coming for all of the records including those 100 meter records too. And the switch is happening now. Michael Norman says that he plans to compete in the 100 this year at the US Outdoor Championships in July. It hurts my brain to think about how difficult it's going to be to make the US men's team in the 100 now that we're adding these two guys Plus, we swept the world championships just a year ago. The amount of depth in the US men's final is just going to be insane. Now, I'll make sure I state this point clearly because I know I'm going to use it for the video title and that I believe that Michael Norman is a legit contender for 100 meter gold at the 2024 Paris Summer Olympic Games. Now I can already sense that he's just a 400 meter runner people getting ready to yell at me all over social media. But I'd hope by now, Fred Curley has dissuaded all those folks with those horrible opinions that a 400 meter specialist can't transition down the 100 and still achieve a tremendous amount of success in that event as well. But if you don't believe me, when he was getting recruited out of high school, Quincy Watts, Carol Smith Gilbert, and Carl Lewis all told him that they thought that he was a 100 meter runner. So sure, fine, don't believe me, but you should probably listen to them. Michael Norman has not been idle over the years in racing outside of the 400, and generally when he has chosen to race down in the two or the one, he's been pretty dang fast. In the past three seasons, in 18, 19, and 22, when he's run the 200 outdoors, He's been one of the fastest men in the world every single season. He was the sixth fastest man in the world in 2018, second fastest in 2019, and fourth last year in 2023. He's also 16th in world history in that event, and he wasn't racing the 200 week in and week out like the specialists were either. Then after taking a brief hiatus from the 100 in college, he came back to it during the pandemic in 2020 with a win legal 986 lifetime best and then continued with three more 100 meter races in 2021, every single performance being under 10 seconds. Norman said that every time he ran the 100 during that time, he never changed anything he was doing. He was always training for it and focused on the 400 and he would just drop down and run. So you see him running those 9.8s and 19.7s. That was while he was training for the 400. His eyes are on the future, saying the plan for 2023 is more of a setup for 2024. Everything I'm doing now is setting good habits and preparation for the Olympics. So when it comes to Olympic year, I can just keep building. So he has a setup year and then the big year. Where have we seen a similar approach recently from another 400 meter guy? Fred Curley, 2021, shifted his focus down to the 100, ran 984, 2022, 976. In his first year in 2021, silver at the Tokyo Olympics, 2022, gold at the World Championship. So we have the blueprint right in front of us of another one of the world's best 400 meter runners who in his first year, made a global championship final and medaled, and his second year came away with gold. So what's to say the same thing couldn't happen for Michael Norman? I also absolutely love the competitiveness of Michael Norman, who wants to be where the spotlight is brightest and the pressure is highest, as he said this about why he's making the decision. If you're 400 meter world champion, you don't get that coveted title of the world's fastest man. The 100 is a race that the world watches, I think the moments now, I feel like I'm reaching my prime. If all of his previous accomplishments have been Michael Norman not yet in his prime, 
the rest of the world should be very scared about what this man's about to try and accomplish in the 100. Michael Norman set his goals for this year in 2023 for three medals at the World Championships. The 100, the 4x1, and the 4x4. I'm certainly not going to bet against him. Though that does put me in a tough spot because I've also said that I will never doubt or bet against Fred Curley. So now with these two absolute legends of the sport set to collide in this event, which is giving me goosebumps just thinking about it, I don't know how I'm going to work myself out of that one. And what do you make of all this? Do you like this move for Michael Norman? Do you think this was the right time to switch to the 100? Do you think in 2023, this year, he's a legit podium contender for the US or World Championships? Or is 2024 said to be his true breakout year? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. And I'll see you next time.